Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid we got some bad news, everybody. Now, just the other day, we talked about Xbox and Microsoft firing their DEI right, and a lot of people were celebrating. So, because we're doing helicopters left and right, and people were like, oh, oh, crap, like, I did not see that coming. Oh, my God, like, Xbox is finally waking up, and they're realizing that gamers won games made for the gamers. Yeah, so that was a big W for Xbox, right? We talked about it, and we also talked about how X uh, PlayStation, on the other hand, they're going ultra woke, they're going ultra retweet mode with Concord, they're making games nobody asked for, right? Like, they're simply letting Actuus make games. And keep in mind, this is not even about, like, PlayStation being good, PlayStation being bad, or Xbox being good, or Xbox being bad. Simply put, right, like, gamers had enough, a, a lot of gamers are now waking up, and they are, they are realizing that the sky is blue and not green. They have ultimately stopped buying the sky is green bull squash. So gamers are now waking up, right? Like the video if you do not want woke games from Xbox and PlayStation. Dislike the video if you want it. So we, yeah, we, we talked about it, but ultimately today it gotta be one of those days where we get some bad news, guys. So yeah, let's actually get right into this one here. And we got multiple stories. I gotta also show you guys this video as well. Uh, but check this out so apparently we're hearing that the halo tv series has officially been cancelled after just two seasons oh, shit. so that just went down as well right and a lot of people are saying that okay like i did not see this coming and for a minute right like suckers had me beefing 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 and i i'm gonna be honest i did not watch the halo series so i'm not sure whether it was good or it was bad i don't know none of that but uh, some people are saying that they turned the Master Chief around as well. Apparently, he was all about sucking Ds and sucking BBCs. Uh, not my opinion, guys. Not my opinion. This is what I've been seeing online, okay? And they turned him around. They changed his orientation as well, right? They gave him a face reveal, and then they made him, like, suck... I, I, I don't know, man. Like, people are saying he's all about, no, sucking BBCs and all that. Some people are saying this is ultimately the, the real get will go broke. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's not. I don't know, okay? I don't know. I have not watched it. So that happened today. They canceled it. Apparently, the USFTC also got involved. So uh, this is different from the Halo sto uh, story. USFTC, which is still in appeals over its case against Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we're still talking about the Activision deal, the Call of Duty deal, because apparently, uh, approximately, give or take, uh, almost two years ago, when you know xbox microsoft they acquired activision it shook everybody's ground okay everybody was like looking oh not not necessarily like him but everybody was looking like this everybody was like yo what the hell now microsoft is buying call of duty what does this mean for the planet what does this mean for planet earth what does this mean for gamers and quickly after like everybody was like beefing 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 everyone's beefing 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 right assumptions uh paranoia uh what have you everything was just rushing people were firing don't mean xbox andys were doing helicopters with their woolly sony ponies were sent into coma and ultimately you know beefing 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 and fast forward to now uh we're finding out that microsoft has ultimately ended segregation and the beta is gonna be day one on pc ps uh, playstation and xbox so big w big w right but apparently this also what happened so they are apparently getting involved once again with this situation and they have filed a letter to the court stating that xbox is raising game pass prices and, and this is true though this is true and they are saying that xbox is being very inconsistent because previously microsoft did claim that you know while they were you know fighting to acquire call of duty and activision blizzard as a company they were saying that call of duty is gonna be added to game pass which is true we now know that it has been added but when they do add it they will not increase the game prices and ultimately they did increase the game prices and to which like you guys know like just the other week right we talked about it everybody has been beefing 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 and, and come on man listen uh, i'm sim simply put uh, as a brown man i'm always gonna demand this i'm demanding this i feel like the gamers need to rise up gamers need to rise up I, in my heart so far it's, i truly do believe that gamers deserve more gamers deserve more okay online for both for everything for playstation xbox okay it should be free like the video if you agree <laughs> make online free make online free gamers deserve more right so yeah they said that xbox xbox did say that they're not gonna increase the game pass prices they ultimately did and now they're sending letters not the love letters guys come on now man uh, they're sending letter claims that microsoft discontinuing the game pass console tier is an and yeah that that's true though they also discontinued a tier 
so basically they made another tier there's one tier uh, if you buy you are you're not gonna get games day one so you know say, da, da, da. Uh, so that happened as well they're saying that example and apparently they're saying this is another ftc is saying that this is another example of consumer harm caused by allowing the deal to go through now let me show you what like the the, the sentiment is okay the j-rock xbox uh, fan says that they will fail once again the homie slushy slushy says i let it go already us ftc still trying to block the deal this uh, this shies has been going on since 2022 which is true just let it go bruh it is ours so these are like the current sentiments uh, of the, the the gamers right uh, all around the globe here and that's what the homies are feeling like which is true i do believe that yeah you know what i mean right it's kind of jover at this point just let it go right like it's been nearly two years like come on now right and right as we get down to something else that just went down the only thing i agree in this one is xbox just lying i mean hey corporations that's what they do right i mean tough love okay playstation sony microsoft xbox everybody okay all the corporations they lie i mean tough love okay humans uh that that's uh one of their biggest quality all of us here do lie Let, let's be real sometimes it's white lies other times it's uh, not so white lies okay but in this situation i do agree that they did say that they're not gonna increase the game pass prices and ultimately they did shocker shocker yeah it, honestly they should make online absolutely free to play for both playstation and xbox and they should re reduce the prices of game pass okay as a brown man i demand that like the video if you demand that too but ultimately it's kind of joe over right this deal is done like you you feel what i'm saying but apparently this also what went down roll it i'm gonna talk about video game news we're gonna talk about how the end of xbox is nearer at least xbox as a console and i hate to be the guy who told you so but i, I told you so i told you that I, I don't think there's much of a future for xbox as a dedicated console now we have more evidence that microsoft seems to be pivoting away from the idea of xbox being a dedicated console so let's talk about this new listing that was on amazon yesterday i think and i have okay. to give a huge hat tip to blacks hd i did not i did not see this but it's really interesting okay, and i gotta give a shout out to the homie clownfish tv because i did not see this coming i mean i technically did see that coming but not necessarily this listing or this news uh, yesterday we're finishing early. up a video talking about turning a mini pc into a dedicated plug and play console uh, using steam big picture which we which we did and we actually have a video coming and i'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that later okay. it should be coming later today honestly so it. the timing is amazing but yeah as part of uh, amazon prime day Amazon is selling a bundle, a no console required Xbox bundle. And IGN's even like, is this the future of Xbox? And I'm going to say, yeah, I think it is. I got all kinds of crap. A couple of months ago, I said that uh, PCs have already won and the Xbox will probably become a platform that you will play on a PC or a tablet. Yeah, 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 time out, time out, time out. Tranquilo, papi, tranquilo, tranquilo. Yo, okay, real quick, guys. Okay, uh, get your pitch and forks. Okay, crack your knuckles, guys. It is go time. Grab your controllers. Okay, Sony ponies. I need you. Xbox Andy's. I need you. I need my PC Master Race. I know my my brothers uh, over at PC uh, PC Master Race. They're probably chilling. They're probably relaxing. They're probably like uh, like this guy, right? Let me actually show you guys, right? The PC Master Race. I mean, yeah, I see you guys, right? You know, you're just uh, sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the show, enjoying the drama, right? Yeah. I get it, okay. But I need my Xbox xbox homies on this one immediately i need my sony ponies on this one immediately okay because this is something that i also expect xbox to do not necessarily this early but you know in the future i also do expect playstation to do it but what i mean by this is that eventually playstation and xbox they're gonna go full on digital mode right what i mean by this here is that there wouldn't be any consoles uh, for them to uh, sell you feel what i'm saying but i do see xbox doing that before because yep they're not selling xbox the way they want to right and ultimately they're really going in the direction of uh, all this online kind of you know a digital future with game pass they, uh, and xboxes uh, and recently when i say recently it's been like a couple of months at this point and we did cover the news about this where uh, xbox uh, we had reports off it that xbox is moving in terms of like uh they're changing their slogans and their wording their marketing wording from xbox game pass to game pass only right so they're kind of getting rid of the word 
Xbox behind the scenes. It's becoming more like Microsoft Game Studios. The reason this is a, a, a little bit worrisome or the reason people are talking about this or talked about previously and uh, now this topic is coming up yet again is because uh, people are assuming that in the future they're just gonna go all digital. Basically what, what this means is that if you have a PC, laptop, TV, uh, mobile, right? You just have to sign up to Xbox Game Pass and that's it. That's it. You pay monthly, whatever that cost will be for that time in the future, right? And, and you can simply play the games. It's going to be stream only, right? You just need the internet connection and, and that's it. That's simply it. Now, of course, in a perfect world, it does sound like good. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, right? But you got to also understand that there are a lot of people that don't have good internet connection. We're in 2024 and internet, don't internet uh, companies, uh, you know, uh, don't internet goes down, right? You know, don't we always have those hiccups like power outages, internet outages, right? And I'm talking about this in the first world country. Now, no disrespect to people that are in countries that are uh, consider like third world countries. It depends on the service and in some countries the internet is a lot more expensive in other countries it's not that expensive right so it really depends so in people in the first world countries even they are not ready for something like that even if you have the best connection the latency the ping and uh, the input lag and all that you know streaming and you know what I mean there are so many different variations and so many different uh, uh, what was this called? Uh, there's a word for it. There's so many different scenarios where people are gonna experience lag and especially for a game like Call of Duty or any FPS game for that matter, reaction timing is everything. You know what I mean? You also gotta react faster and you also gotta make sure you don't have too much of an input delay. So how is this gonna work exactly? I, I don't know. I, I think we're a little far away but maybe Microsoft have scientists out there that have figured this ish out maybe that's what it is maybe they have figured it all out and maybe we're gonna see it but i realistically do not expect them to drop the entire physical xbox console uh, like tomorrow i think it's gonna take some time but i guess the wording is on the on the wall right now that's what's going on or whatever it is in this case it's it's an amazon uh streaming game stick or something fire stick but that's that's probably what's going to happen, and uh, you know we're seeing more and more layoffs at Microsoft, and we're seeing you know just it's it's a, a huge waste of resources to create a what is essentially just a, a budget cut gaming PC, right? <laughs> that you can't upgrade, and then you're potentially stuck with this hardware. You're also limited by this this Wait hardware, and you know software. In a lot of cases, if your overhead's not super expensive, it's like printing money. But when you're creating hardware, a lot of times these manufacturers sell the consoles at a loss. I know that PS2s were sold at a loss. Because Sony knew they would make the money back on on game sales, right? Uh, I, I feel like that PlayStation Three originally was like what eight hundred dollars or something like that, and consider this eight hundred dollars for uh, I believe it came out in two thousand six, right? Uh, yeah, give or take. My memory is foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, but man, like this is Uncharted Three for those of you that might be asking in the comments. Yo, Skizzle, what game is that? L listen, man, I love this franchise, bruh. Like, I, and we're hearing that it's gonna get a reboot as well. I hope that game is good. I hope they do not turn Nathan Drake into Nathan Drakey. You feel it? Uh, yeah, I hope they do not. I hope they don't change uh, this sucker's gender if, in the reboot. But yeah, it's a very good franchise. But yeah, well, uh, this is what I was saying, right? Uh, 2006, 2007, something like that. PS3 came out. We had the fat version of it. I still have the fat version of the PS3. But, but like, you know, in 2006, we had the ultra mega, mega fat version, okay? You know, it had steel and I believe initially it was 20 gigs, then they made uh, 40 gigs and then 80 gigs. And nowadays we get like, what, consoles at one terabyte and Call of Duty takes half of it. <laughs> Call of Duty takes half of the space, all the consoles, man. But back in the days, it, it started with 20 gigs, 40 gigs. We had 80 gigs as well. Then we got the PS3 Slim, 120 gigs. And initially it was somewhere around 800 Canadian. I believe it was Canadian. So approximately 600 USD. Uh, give or take, correct me if, uh, if I'm wrong. And that much money for that time, ludicrous, right? Because $800 of 2006 would be easily like $1,200 to maybe even $1,500, uh, something like that, because of inflation. Uh, and, and ultimately, their goal is to get rid of it in the future. Uh, I, I, I'll be honest, man. If in a perfect world, though, if they were able to solve all of these issues that we talked about, like latency, people having good internet connection or not so good internet connection, this and that, this and that, right? 
yeah right like in a, in a perfect world if you didn't have any of these issues they would jump on this in a heartbeat playstation xbox they would make it digital only though all digital only you will own nothing you'll be happy right they will absolutely because they wouldn't have to make i mean shit man like who wanna like pay for gpus cpus right make a console because there is cost associated with it and generally speaking xbox and playstation they do not make too much money from selling playstation and xbox they they just don't ultimately they make a lot more money by selling the exclusives the the games uh, ga uh, and they make a lot more money by selling games digitally rather than selling them physically because there's of course costs associated with printing discs uh shipping them out selling them you, you, the, the box art and all that right uh, and, and yeah they make a lot more money but with let's just say online right yeah this is why they have the online subscription man we demand free online we demand free online but wait for this but he gets that uh, console and they're gonna buy games for that console that's how they're gonna make their money back so it's it's a very uh expensive proposition to create hardware so let's let's talk about all this before we get into any further a couple things please subscribe to this channel for more pop culture news views and rants please subscribe to clownfish gaming for more gameplay videos and gaming news and also L like and subscribe like and subscribe but uh let's get down to the the, the content here boo -boo. we're gonna talk about this video we have coming uh, later today but uh, ign said amazon selling a no console required xbox they've launched the xbox no console required bundle and we'll, we'll take a look at that here in a bit coinciding with the recent release of the fire tv stick xbox cloud gaming app enabling Xbox Game Pass users to stream games directly to their TVs without needing an Xbox console. I'm not a big fan of streaming games. I mean, Google tried this, and I thought I thought Amazon Stadia, did this too, right? wasn't it? Luna, was that what it was called? I don't know if it works. I don't know if it works that well. But the point being that, you know, didn't. Microsoft didn't. is looking at other options other than selling consoles. So here's what it says. It says, stream Xbox games, no console required, reads the Amazon listing, which also mentions how it's the only streaming media player with Xbox for now. The new bundle coincides with Amazon's Prime Day event that runs through July 16th and 17th. It's currently listed for $78. $40 savings. Uh, Microsoft's next big push into cloud streaming massively broadens the potential. Bruh, I can go to China right now. I can get it for two pennies, bro. Audience for Xbox games and the Xbox Game Pass subscription. Again, I think the end game is to eventually just make Xbox a platform, an operating system or something, you know, and, and you will just play Xbox on whatever device you have, and it's not going to be an actual Xbox. Hmm. No, no, listen here. Like, the idea does sound good. Wait, wait for it, guys. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out, man. Hear me out. Uh, the idea does sound good, right? For example, you're just going outside, you got your phone, and you want to just, uh, you know, quickly play a game because you're on a bus, you want to kill time, and you want to... I'm not talking about, like, mobile games. I'm just talking about, like, actual uh, first-party games from Xbox or third-party games, like the AAA games, the AA games, uh, like Helldivers, for, for example, as well. That's considered a AA game. Or a quadruple-A game by Ubisoft, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you know that quadruple-A game? The first, the world's first quadruple-A game, right? Um, yeah, you can just uh, pump up your... Pull, uh, pull up your phone. You can play that way easy, right? But imagine you're on mobile data. Imagine you're on mobile data. There goes, man. You wanna stream that on mobile data? It's Joe over after that. See, so in a perfect world, it would be good. But then you got like so many of these issues here. You're gonna burn through your mobile data just like that. Just like that, right? Unless um, we're, uh, we get to the point where we have unlimited mobile data plans, uh, but that's gonna be like very expensive, I'm assuming. Or maybe not, maybe in a perfect world, like it would not be too, super expensive. Okay, fair, we got that. A and if this solved the input lag issues, yeah, makes sense, right? Where you can just uh, uh, get a smart TV and uh, you don't need a console. Uh, I, I feel like that for a lot of people, it would, it would be very convenient as well. Yeah, but that the, all of that is in a perfect world. We got so many uh, so many of these issues where it's not gonna work too well, man. Google Stadia tried, and ultimately they had to shut down because they, yeah, like it, it, we're not there yet. Ultimately, we gotta be in the year three thousand for that to work, I guess. All that's needed is a compatible Fire TV stick, a Bluetooth-enabled wireless controller, and an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription to stream Xbox games. The bundle addresses exactly that, providing everything a potential gamer would need to get started. So now, if Xbox becomes a platform, I'm just I'm just gonna put it out there. What, what is going to happen is we already have video games. They're not standalone. They're live service. So you buy the game for 70 bucks or even 100 bucks. I guess we're yeah. games that are 100 or 120 dollars. And then you're you're subscribing to that game, right? Because it's live service. You got to pay every month or you have to keep buying DLC or whatever it is. And the same thing will happen yeah, with the console. Yeah. You'll never actually own the console, right? You'll just have to pay for Xbox every month instead of buying a 300, 400, 500 hundred dollar console. So, I mean, from a marketing perspective, yeah, there, it's going to be like Adobe Creative Cloud, right? You're never going to buy the software. In this case, you'll never buy the hardware. You'll just subscribe to Xbox, the Xbox platform and play Xbox, quote unquote, wherever you can, on your TV, on your phone. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna subscribe to your console. 
I'm telling you, that's that's where they want to go with it because it's like they don't have any costs. You know, they're not going to be stuck with a bunch of consoles they can't sell. Developers yeah. aren't going to be tied to what's possible with with old hardware. Mm. They can just keep the hardware. Uh, th this way, they're going to save a lot of money, and ultimately, that's their goal, uh, right? They they want to get rid of the physical games as well because yeah, why sell why sell it physically when you can sell digitally? Think about this way, right? Digital never runs out. Okay, you don't have to print discs. You don't have to worry about the box art. You don't have to ship the games out. Yeah, you're gonna save a lot of money that way. I'm assuming, okay, give or take, I don't have the knowledge, so I wanna be upfront with you. Uh, I'm assuming it would at least cost them like 10 bucks, uh, at least give or take, to ship the games out. Maybe less than that, right? Uh, I'm talking about 10 bucks for the box art. The box art would be like pennies, right? Like they would import it from China, from Alibaba man, Alibaba man. Uh, they probably have like uh, you know companies uh, industries there in China like they're making boxes for them arts but yeah yeah you know what I mean but I'm talking about like the the, the uh, all of it right creating the boxes shipping them out to the states and then ultimately you uh, getting people there to put the discs in the cover close them seal them package them send them out to like GameStop to the Best Buys right to the WalMarts uh, have you all these stores right so all in all maybe per per one disc it's like five dollars to ten dollars uh, right why even hey why even bother with that right let's up the the, the margins the profit margins real quick baby let's sell them digitally they're gonna make a lot more money like that right so th this is where they're going and if they can get rid of the physical xbox in this situation oh yeah oh hell yeah they're gonna make a lot of money though. fresh on their end and just keep making newer better games as long as you know people have the bandwidth to be able to, to stream them an accompanying advertisement for the new streaming initiative recently sparked debate among hardcore xbox fans the ad reminiscent of the scream movies features a woman answering the phone to an unnamed man disguising his voice and raising eyebrows you don't need an xbox to play xbox okay let's look at uh, let's look at this tweet and see what the reactions are to this tweet okay so here's the ad um, this is a game changer. Xbox says, absolutely, that's it. Fire, you could say. Or that's lit, rather. Fire, you could say. Another Xbox W. Um, let's see what the retweets are saying. Oh, all of the homies are, like, gassing Xbox right now. <laughs> all of them are like, yo, like, get it, brother. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of them are, uh, what's the word? But glazing. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. That's the new word on the block, right? Beautiful. Everyone is glazing them. Doom Eternal spotted. Uh, what an ad. You all owe Google Stadia an apology. That was that's what I thought. Yeah, Xbox is finished. Yeah, uh, Xbox Cloud. So th this was last week. Yeah. What's let me let me know your thoughts on it real quick, guys. And this is what happened the other day, right? Xbox apparently went crazy, right? This was their big W recently. Yeah, we talked about the good news as well. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Check this video out, and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. This one is for my young bucks out there. Don't just a pom pom, guys. Don't just a